That's come up absolutely mint. <laughs> G'day guys, I'm in my painting clothes because today we're painting the chassis of our 60 series Land Cruiser. Now she's not in bad nick for the 33 years or so she's been around. Just a bit of surface rust here or there and some paint starting to flake off. But I want to give it as long a life as possible. So I got my hands on this chassis coder kit from KBS. I've heard pretty good things about it so we figured we'd Slap it on the frame and see how it goes. Now you might have noticed the body's still on the car and you might be thinking to yourself, gee, that's gonna make things difficult. Well, you'd be absolutely correct, but we're doing this while we put in new suspension and while we put in new body mounts. So we should have pretty good access to the top of the chassis and the bottom of the chassis that you wouldn't normally get. And also, just the fact that I'm sitting here means the fuel tank and the usual spare tire is gone as well. We're basically killing three birds with one very convoluted and laborious stone. But if you want to see our lift kit video and if you want to see our body mount video, I'll pop a link up in the corner and in the description for you. Go check them out. So while the springs are off, I'm going to do this rear axle. Also, it's just a bit of a test bed for the whole kit and the whole process. So let's get to wire wheeling. Yeah. So there are three steps to this chassis coder kit. Um, oh, three steps in the box, but there's sort of four steps in reality. So the first step is you wire wheel all your loose scaly rust off and any dirt or, I don't know, loose paint. And then you start the steps in the box. So first of all, we've got AquaClean. So this is just an industrial cleaner that goes all over all your metal. You let it sit for a little bit and then just hose it off and that'll get rid of any oils, any grimes, anything left there. So all we needed to get rid of was loose flaky stuff. And I've gone over it with the wire wheel and gone over it with some sandpaper um, in all these hard to reach places and pretty much done just that. So then I've mixed up the AquaClean uh, at a five to one ratio with water. I just use room temperature water. Though it says if you use uh, hot water, the cleaning potential is improved. And I've got gloves that come with the kit and some nice steel wool. And I'm just gonna rub down the whole axle and then hose it off and hopefully it'll be a nice clean axle. Every part of this kit can be applied with a paintbrush or a spray bottle, which makes it really, really easy for DIY, especially if you don't have spray guns and a compressor. So once you've washed off your AquaClean, you move to a rust converter and etch primer called Rust Blast. So you just apply this with spray bottle or brush. The kit recommends that you keep rust blast wet on the surface for 10 minutes to two hours, depending on the severity of the rust, which means we've got to be under there for up to two hours, constantly spraying it, constantly keeping it wet. And you can use a scouring pad to speed along the process if you want, and which we probably will do. As always guys, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more incredible car restorations like this one. Look at this sophistication. Mint. Now once you've applied this, I think for up to 30 days, you can just leave your chassis as sort of rust blasted bare metal and it won't rust anymore. So I assume this is where most of, most of the good stuff in the kit comes from and most of the rust prevention. Yeah. So once you've done your rust blast, you move to rust seal, which is just your paint coating that covers up all your steel and protects it from the nasty elements that cause rust. Now instructions for this are stir for three to five minutes, pour what you're gonna use into a little working vessel and seal this one up. So it's all right. Oh, that's thick. That is thick, far out. Pour just enough for the axle in there and then apply a minimum of two thin coats by brush or spray if you're going to use thinners and should be good to go. Obviously don't apply it if it's wet or if it's too hot, if it's too cold, it won't cure correctly but um, the working range is pretty pretty standard. So this brush is supplied with the kit as well. Lightly tap it on there and just get going. Now supposedly 
the rust seal is self leveling so any brush strokes will just disappear out of the coat but I don't know how thick you're supposed to make the coat for that to work properly it does say two thin coats um, at minimum gee this is losing a lot of hairs the brush? yeah that, it looks like the shittiest brush ever gonna have a hairy diff by the end of this. Now we didn't know it right then and there, but once KBS chassis paint is on, you can never get it off. I mean this kind of works. <laughs> Do an after paint soak. What are you doing? <laughs> I've got KBS rust seal all through my hair. And if I can't get it off my hands, it's not coming out. Yeah, that wasn't ideal. Anyway, so now we're ready to move on to the chassis, but it's filthy. So first, a bit of power washing. Yeah. After about five minutes, I decided there was pretty limited scope for pressure washing and most of this work would have to be done by hand. So I've enlisted the help of my friend and he's gonna help me rust blast and rust seal. Hit that brake drum too. Thank you. So we finished with rust blast. Um, and it's worked pretty well. As before, you don't have to remove all of the rust, just most of the big scaly chunky bits. And once that's dry, we can paint it. Limited dust protection. Superior dust protection. There you go. It's got a limited dust protection. You can take each other up. Yeah. Oh, that fucking mother on me. I'm going to the, the quarantine zone. I know. Because you've not mean? have gotten like a bigger size. Oh, this is actually... I think Jess bought that for her. <laughs> each other up. Oh, sorry. It's okay, I'll, I'll re-zip you up. Hey. Oh. Oh, thank you. We get hoods as well. We got hoodies. We got hoods. Ethan, but you're in are shadow. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think that's good enough, right? Bloody oath, that's come up absolutely mint. For a whole process that probably took us four hours on a really, really rusty, or surface rusty, pretty crap looking chassis, this has come up awesome. It'll be interesting to see how well it holds up to actual harsh terrain. So look out for the review video and please ignore the inverted shackle. Once the lift kit video is out, we'll explain how to fix that. Yeah. Basically killing one bird with three, no, what? 
<laughs> oh, no, you're getting lost now. 